Hello YouTube, this is my first PSP related tutorial, so bear with me if I don't exactly get everything you need. Um, this is going to be how to put Super Mario Brothers uh, Forever on your PSP using an emulator called Nestor J. Alright, let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do is make sure our memory card is nice and formatted. And I just want to give you a quick reminder. You do need a modded PSP to do this. You can see my version right here. I'm not going to do that gay cover up thing that some people do. It is a modded PSP 3.71 M332 firmware. I can upgrade if I want. I'm using a backup memory card right now. I already have this program on my other one, so. Alright, first we're going to do is go into USB mode. I already have it plugged in. And as you can see, it shows up on my computer right here. I would use screen capturing software, but it slows down my computer by a whole bunch, so I'm just going to use this Gorilla Tactic right here. Please excuse me if I'm a bit shaky. Okay, as you can see here, you have an ISO file. We're not going to need that. All we're going to need is... PSP game, or in my case, game 371. Alright, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna go up to Firefox here. Firefox is gonna open. You can see my driver light flashing down there. Come on, Firefox, come on. Uh, yeah, restore it. What previously happened is I was trying to capture this with my webcam instead of just my video camera, and, uh, due to a driver overload, uh, it shut my computer down. Okay. So this is the website you're going to go to. I'll have the link on the side. And all you gotta do is click on this here. It's going to take you to Rapid Share. Now, Rapid Share isn't the best choice of a file hosting unit that I would use, but it's what they got. All right. Just enter the code here. In my case, 87v4. And we're going to click this download link right here. And it pops up. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Voila! Okay. Now, the next thing you think we're going to do is to unzip it. Well, actually, I don't use that technique. I use something completely different. Go into game 371, open this zip, just double click it, take the eboot, copy it, we're going to make a new folder, we're going to call it, we're going to call it Nestor J, this is where I'm going to paste that eboot.pbp, so we've got the eboot on here. I'm going to make another folder. I'm going to name it ROMs. This is where we're going to put the games. Okay, now to get a game. Super Mario Forever. You can find it on the internet. Now, you've got to be careful because there's this Super Mario Forever version that was just designed for a computer. Super KKK Bros. Don't think that I'm racist or anything, because I'm not. It's just a... Weird looking... Okay. Now... You gotta be careful. 
try to go to a ROM site and okay I cannot find oh here it is oh that's still not it yeah this is the crappy computer version that I don't really like I'll just post a link on the side where you can download it I'll upload my copy of the ROM at any rate go and I'm just gonna go to my documents go up to my ROM folder TerranWolf.com is where I got it Mario Forever there's a NES file and this is the original Super Mario file that's whoops that's not needed just gonna copy this gonna go into the ROMs folder paste it there that's all you need to do back to the PSP as you can see it's still in USB mode just gonna hit the circle there alright now if your PSP is indeed modded you should see the Nestor J there and if you did install correctly it should go to that like you're beginning a game it should fade out and on your first one it should give you this error just hit OK it's perfectly normal And here we have our ROM. Now, I unfortunately with this camera, I do not own a tripod, so I cannot exactly play this game. But, as you can see, it is the actual Super Mario Bros. Forever. And that's as far as I can get you here. Do not, I will give you this disclaimer here. Please do not ask me about anything such as Pandora's battery or um, downgrading your PSP or how to get this firmware that can all be found out on Google please I'm just giving you this tutorial about this game I hope it comes to good use see you later nooblets